Hello and welcome to this video and possibly the hottest day we've had since living in Sheffield. So I brought you into the bathroom so I can talk to you while I do some sun cream because actually going out figured I should actually look after my skin for once. So although saying that is possible that ow sun cream is out of date. Maybe not. So today we have had a change of plan. Originally we had tickets to go and watch the new series of gladiators being filmed they're doing that at Sheffield Arena but we've decided we're not going to go there Pete's got work on so it was always going to be him if really he could go there and his thing finishes at four and we needed to be there for four but the way any TV show goes because we've done a few when we lived in London is that they oversubscribe and there's been reports in the local news that like there's 2,000 tickets or 3,000 seats or something and then they've done like 5,000 tickets so we would need to be at the arena very early if we were to actually get a seat and we can't do that so instead we've decided that we're not going to go I, so instead I mean I was always going to do this today anyway um, but instead of going later so I can meet Pete to go to Gladiators, I'm going to go down with him in the car to his office. And I'm going to walk into town. I'm going to take the uh, pink play suit back to Primark. If you saw that video where I did the Primark call, you'll know what I'm talking about. But if not, I'll link it up here for you. So we go. I'm going to do that and then spend a little bit of time in town. Probably not very long. And then I'm going to... My plan is to walk back, which is about an hour, about two miles. I'm going to walk back home in the sunshine, take my iPod, listen to some music, do that. Um, along the way, there are, you know, like some charity shops and things. So, whereas I wasn't planning on doing a charity shop run this month even though I've allowed myself to buy books and um, so it happens that the days have now aligned so that I can and will so I guess that's good uh, other things that need to be done really need to do some cleaning we were away last week in the Cotswolds so obviously we didn't do any while we were there so we've got like like a week behind basically and cleaning so we've got to clean the whole house again Pete did the kitchen this morning but where I have to walk the dog in the morning and I needed to wash my hair and you know I'm in a dress so shave my legs um, I didn't have time to do anything so I've got to do all of mine later because Sunday I think it's supposed to still be a nice day although it might rain in the afternoon we want to try and do a little bit in the garden if we can um, and then we also have like the skirting boards and stuff to paint in the dining room so there's a lot that we need to do tomorrow so I need to get the cleaning done today so that that's done and out of the way but I'm going to carry on putting on my sun cream I'll take my phone to town with me I might I might show you some stuff as I'm walking around um, and then I'll come back to you when I'm home probably red and sweaty so that was uh, successful I've exchanged my plate suit I've got a couple of bits one of which is an eyebrow pencil because I thought maybe I'll try that one day and it was about half 50 and some white ones are those see-through, not see-through, 
hidden sock things because I wore the black ones in the cut spots. They're really helpful. I may have popped into the works. And then uh, because I'm with O2, you get O2 rewards. One of the rewards is always a free sausage roll. So I've just got picked up a sausage roll for lunch. And now I'm going to start walking back via the charity shops. So, I don't know. It's been a nice hour or so. And I haven't spent lots of money, so that's nice. So I thought I'd treat myself to a drink and I walked past a Starbucks. So I'm trying this dragon fruit mango thing. actually really nice. Shame it's so expensive. So the uh, charity shops were a bit bust. There wasn't really anything in there that I liked. No good books. Or if there were, they were far too expensive. Because if I'm buying from a charity shop, we're not spending more than a pound, pound fifty at most. So, bit of a bust. Some of the dresses were nice, but the shops that they came for and the prices that they were charging for them, again, wasn't winning. So I'm now on the uh, long stretch home. This bit doesn't really have anything to look at. Just got to walk straight. Um, this drink, however, tastes nice, but I stupidly didn't realise that it had lumps of dragon fruit in it. And if you know me, I'm very funny with textures of fruit and stuff. So when they suddenly pop through the little drinking hole, uh, yeah, it put me off a bit. So I, uh, I found a bin and I threw as many of them as I could in the bin. So now I can actually drink it without any worry. But yeah, I'll catch you when I'm at home now. And I'm back and not as red and sweaty as I kind of thought, although I do feel very red and sweaty. I also wore entirely the wrong shoes for that because I've now got a blister on the bottom of my foot, which is not ideal. I made the last part of that walk pretty difficult. Um, but I've opened the doors fully for the first time ever. Excuse my bag there. Um, so the wall is open. Jeff is chilling. I thought he'd go straight outside, but he hasn't. And I'm gonna sit here for a little bit, drink some water, maybe have a packet of crisps, um, and then I'll think about cleaning. Um, but yeah, the walk back from town, or maybe it'll be the same to town, is not too bad. It's, I think there's a couple of ways you can do it, but all of them are largely on the main road, which is not the most scenic. It's not too bad, I just need to wear better shoes. Note to self. So, we were meant to have kebabs for dinner today. Um, but Pete came home with a pizza, so... It was meant for lunch, it wasn't meant for now, but... It would be rude not to, plus the kebabs have a longer day, but it does mean that Pete has eaten one food group today. Well, I've, I've done pretty well at changing the pizzas that I've eaten. There's been a variety in my pizza. But yeah, also, um, he didn't set up the laptop. Oh yeah, I thought you could do that. You didn't ask me to do that. Uh, I had that in my head to go after, but you know, I didn't have so. Um, so we are going to watch A Man Called Otto, which is the film version of A Man Called Uwe, that they've obviously changed the name to make it more Western, with Tom Hanks. Um, potential, I could cry at this one. But we'll see. We'll see. So, oh, yeah. I like a good Tom Hanks. That is the evening. The doors are still open. I'm going to eat some pizza. And then I bought, because I didn't know he was coming home with pizza, but I bought some yum nuts from M&S. So, so healthy, healthy, healthy day. But I have done 18,000 steps and 106 active minutes now, I think it is. Um, so, I think I'm allowed. The next day. Good morning. Uh, it's Sunday now. We're back with another sunny day. Bye. Oh dear. I think we're okay. Um, 
but my mini came in to say that I've got the doors open again and when we moved into this house in the depths of winter I was so looking forward to the day that I could just open it all up and today is that, well yesterday was that day but today is also that day and I just feel very happy and grateful and now I just need to tackle this mess of plants just the whole garden is a mess but um, <laughs> me and Pete don't really know how to garden but first things first is to basically pull everything up I think is our plan um, it'll be a slow plan but I think other than like bushes or shrubs or whatever we just have weeds um, eventually I think we might get like a landscaper in to change it up a bit because we'd like a bit more of a patio so that we can get some like seats and stuff out there um, I want to change some of the beds I'd like to grow our own fruit and vegetable at some point but as I said we're not gardeners so the likelihood of that happening is slim unless they're very very easy um, but for now it's about just maintaining it clearing it so where I pointed out to you that's supposed to be some stairs we obviously can't use the stairs because it's overgrown with plants so we need to tackle that at some point but then we don't have a spade or a trowel or anything so we need to think about that but yeah anyway I am going to brush this little fella, try and get some of his hair off him, um, because it's warm and he's getting his hair cut tomorrow, um, which will help. I don't know what this light's from on my cheek. And then, uh, yeah, Pete might emerge and then we can get on with what we need to do. I don't think I'll be showing you an awful lot today, but I will do my best as always. So I've just brushed Jeff and he's taken his treat into the sun patch so that he can eat it there. Pete's back from his weekly trip to B and Q. What did you get this time? Shovel. A spade. A spade. Same thing. Um yeah, went for this one. It's quite a large range. <laughs> This one looks rated well, so I know it's rated not like, well. well. It's a trap. Some of the stuff is rated really badly. So, um, that's the and a little fork and some kibble for Jeff, which wasn't for me and Kit. <laughs> right, the hair's gone up. That noise is Pete strimming. Um, so, we're gonna try and do some stuff in the garden. That's the the next plan. I'm just where I put my hair up. If you saw the end of our Cut Spoils vlog, you'll know that. Pete mowed the lawn and then I was pulling some stuff up at the front. I don't actually know if I shared that in that video, but that's what we did. Um, so, I've got my gloves back. I've got my new weapon of choice. And I'm going to try and make sure that we can get to these stairs. That's my goal. But let's see how far we get. Pete's going to go around and strim. And then we'll see where we get to from there. I already feel semi-accomplished. A, I managed to get Spotify to match from my phone onto the TV so I can listen to it while I do it. And we now actually have some stairs again. So I've just cut away a load of the stuff. I haven't done any digging yet. But we actually have some stairs. So already that looks so much better. So that's where I got to. I've cleared all of this side and started a little bit there but as you know that was a big overgrown mess so we all need to carry on going down but that's that's where I stopped before I got fed up basically um, Pete did a lot of strimming it took a long long time for that um, but it feels like things are a bit more in shape I think it's just because that's what I can see. Um, so when I gave up, I sorted out the washing that was on the line and then I 
prepped dinner um, so that's just being put together we're having um, I don't know where my mum got it from but it's a meal called chicken sorbers it's marinated chicken in lime juice although I use lemon cumin turmeric and coriander um, and that goes in like a wrap with a mixture of hummus and yogurt and some cucumber so we're having that for dinner tonight and we're going to um, start the last series of Mrs Maisel so I'm going to end this video here so if you've enjoyed this little weekend in the sun please give it a thumbs up if you haven't already please go ahead and subscribe and I will see you in the next one